Hello everyone. Uh, this session we are going to convert a d of a to a regular expression. The reason why we want to convert a d of a to regular expression is to prove that a d of a and a regular expression are equivalent. Okay. So that is the sense like uh, whenever for a language if there is a d of a, if we can construct a d of a, then surely for the same language we can express the language in terms of a regular expression too. Okay. And now here. We have considered a d of a where q1 and q2 are the states. Q1 is the starting state. Q2 is the final state. From each and every state on each and every input symbol, we have a transition. Now, uh, this is a d of a, and the language accepted by this d of a is like when the input contains at least one zero. You can have any number of ones. If that is a zero, the from the starting state we can we have a transition to the final state. Okay, and later on it might be either zero or one. So for if the input contains at least one zero, the transition moves to a final state. Okay, so that is the language accepted by this DFA, and uh, we are going to use a formula for this conversion. And the formula over here is a formula for the convert for the conversion of this regular expression is written over here, where R represents the regular expression, I represents the starting state, and J as the destination node or the final state. And k represents the number of possible intermediate node. Okay, so the final regular expression will be there in here. The source node, the starting node is one, and the final node is two. And we have to find a transition between this one to two. And there are only two nodes. The number of possible intermediate node will be two. Okay, when we form the regular expression for R one two of two, this will be the final regular expression that we need actually. Okay. So now, according to this formula, when you want to calculate r one two of two, okay. So r one two of two, it it depends on r one two of one, okay. When you want to find the transition with two as the intermediate node, we should know about the one as intermediate node. Again, for this one as the intermediate node, we should know about the zero intermediate node possibility. Well, the transition with zero intermediate node will be a direct path. Right, like when uh, we have a transition from Q1 to Q2, when there is no intermediate node, it is a direct transition. Okay, so this we can write it by uh, just looking after this d of a. So with zero as a intermediate node, we can directly derive that from the uh, the given d of a diagram, and with one as a intermediate node, we have to use the formula for finding it out. Okay, so now we'll find uh, all the possibility of the transition from one to two, one to itself, two to one, and two to two. These are all the possible conditions for i and j value. I may take either zero, either one or two, and j may also take either one or two. And we are going to looking look after all possible combination of one and two, one and two transitions. Okay, and with zero as an intermediate node. So we are going to find. R one one of zero, R one two of zero, two one of zero, and two two of zero. R represents the regular expression, and one and two represents the node condition. Either it is in state one or state two. Okay, and the zero represents a zero intermediate node. That is, we are going to check for all a direct transitions, a direct path. If there exists a direct path, we are going to write it altogether. Okay, so now the starting one is R one one. When it is R one one of zero. From Q1 to the state Q1 itself, we have to check for the transition, and we have a self loop condition. Okay, so whenever we have a self loop, the self loop actually express it might be either a null trans, a uh, uh, empty transition, or a one transition from Q1 to itself. The self loop condition actually describes whenever it is a self loop condition, it might be either an empty or one or any number of one possibility. Okay, and we are going to check for one to one a direct path. Okay, so it might be either one or empty. Okay, so we are going to consider this as either one or empty. For R one one, whenever we have a self loop condition, that might be either from one to itself, it may take either a single one or a empty transition. So we are going to represent it as parallel edges. Parallel edges are represented using one plus. This plus symbol represents the union operation. Okay, a parallel edge that is represented using this plus int symbol, and from this uh, R one two represents the transition from one to two without any intermediate node. From the state Q one to Q two, we have a transition without any intermediate node. So the input over here is zero. So we have to write the zero over here. And next one is R two one. 
from state 2 to 1 actually there is no transition at all okay there is no looping condition over here from 1 to 2 we have a transition but from 2 to 1 we don't have any transition when we don't have any transition we have to use this pi symbol null transition okay there is a difference between this empty and null transition empty represents without any input and null represents no path at all okay so you should have the difference between this empty and null transition now from 2 to itself from the state q2 to itself we have a self loop condition again the input might be either 0 or 1 so we can write it as either 0 or 1 and since it is a looping condition we have to use this epsilon also a null input or 0 or 1 the loop either it executes or it may not execute to if it is executing it takes either a 0 value or a 1 value ok so we have represented all possible combinations of the state with the in with 0 intermediate node ok so now we found this 0 intermediate node now we can like uh, in the final regular expression we have seen over here so this is source uh, the starting node and this is the final node and k represents the number of possible intermediate nodes so this is the regular expression that we expect and here for finding this regular expression we need to find this one ok so we need to find r12 of 1, 12 of 1 and r22 of 1 ok and again here it is r22 of 1 we need to find that ok and when you want to find r12 of 1 or r22 of 1 we should know about to the power of 0 since in the formula we have k minus 1 possibility when you are finding this to the power of 1 we should know to the power of 0 when you are finding with 1 as an intermediate node we should know about the 0 intermediate node condition and we have found out all possible combination of a 0 intermediate node now we can find the transition remaining transition now see when you are finding for r 1 2 of 1 i value is 1 j value is 2 and k value is 1 apply the values in the formula so here it is r i j of k minus 1 so i j is 1 2 and k minus 1 is 0 plus r i k of 0 i k so i value is 1 k value is again 1 and k minus 1 is 0 and here it is r k k of k minus 1 so r k value here is 1 so it is r 1 1 of 0 to the power whole star ok here you have the whole star condition and again we have r k j condition so r k value is 1 j value is 2 to the power of 0 ok k minus 1 it is 0 ok so in the formula we already know this r 1 2 condition r 1 2 of 0 we have already known and 1 1 we already know about it and again 1 2 we already know about it so we just apply the things inside it so r 1 2 is 0 and r 1 1 is 1 plus epsilon and 1 plus epsilon the whole star into r12 is 0 again ok so now like after applying these conditions we got an expression like this now we want to uh, just simplify this expression ok this is an unified expression so we have to simplify this expression while simplifying it just consider this case ok so 1 plus epsilon the whole star when it is 1 plus epsilon the whole star this star actually it is a clean closure condition that is 0 or more transition condition ok so it actually includes whenever it is a star it actually includes this epsilon transition ok and it is 1 plus epsilon when it is 1 plus epsilon it is either 1 or epsilon when you expand this condition when you expand this condition 1 plus epsilon the whole star it can be written as the expansion is it might be either 1 or epsilon or any number of combination of 1 and epsilon so it actually it takes epsilon or a single one or any number of ones ok and this as a whole we know that it is in this 1 star ok whenever it is 1 star it is a clean closure towards 1 so it includes epsilon or 1 or any possible combinations of 1 ok so this 1 plus epsilon the whole star can be represented as 1 star ok so here it is 0 plus 1 plus epsilon into sorry 1 star 0 ok so here we have reduced it and the next step is like we have this possibility of two parts 
okay so this is a sequential edge when you consider 1 plus epsilon concatenated with one star this actually means either epsilon r1 combined with this one star okay so when you expand it it might be either an epsilon path or a single one condition or any number of possible one condition so we can as a whole combine this and write it as one star okay so this can be written as one star zero i think it's clear whenever it is to the power of star this actually includes epsilon transition so no need to write it here like this so we can as a whole we can write this one plus epsilon the whole star as one star and again when this is concatenated with one plus epsilon here the condition is very clear when it is an one plus epsilon condition we can include that but when it is exactly one one star we have to write it as one one star only okay so now the last step the last step of reduction is see here it is zero star and sorry this is zero plus one star zero okay so here again it is a parallel edge condition okay whenever it is plus it is a parallel edge condition and one input is zero and one input is one star zero from one state to other state we either go through the zero path or one star zero path whenever it is one star zero it includes epsilon 2 when the condition is epsilon the input is just zero alone okay so this path is included in this place itself so instead of writing as zero plus one star zero we can write it as one star zero as a whole okay so this will be the final regular expression for r12 of 1 now with this we have found the regular expression of r12 of 1 and similarly see here in the final regular expression we need to find r12 of 1 and r22 of 1 also so next step is to find r22 of 1 next in the regular expression we want to find r22 of 1 and we have applied that in the formula so we have a structure like this okay so here uh, r22 of k it actually this i value is 2 j value is uh, 2 again k value is 1 when you apply in the formula you have a structure like this now uh, according to this like to the power of 0 we have already found the all possible combinations now we have to include it when it is r22 of 0 r22 of 0 contains 0 plus 1 plus epsilon plus and here r21 r21 is null path combined with r11 of 0 it contains 1 plus epsilon the whole star and r12 contains 0 ok so here uh, like we have taken that from R22 and we have written it directly from the formula. Now here a null combined with something. Okay, so this is a concatenation edge. Okay, so concatenation edge you can uh, represent it like uh, from one state to other state there is no path. And from this state to this state we have a path with 1 plus epsilon the whole star 0. Okay, so this is a possibility where from this state to this state there is no possible transition at all. When you want to combine a null, concatenate a null with something, the as a whole this formula will become null. Okay, and null plus something is again, you just have this value alone. Here, when a null path is concatenated with something, this will become null. And that null combined with some parallel edges, so this is plus symbol. Okay, either this or that. And there is no path at all, we can eliminate that and we can write this path alone. Okay, so for R, 2 2 of 1 we have the value as 1 plus 0 plus 1 plus epsilon this alone ok so now in the formula rijk of 2 the final regular expression that is needed we already found what the what will be the value for r12 of 1 and r22 of 1 now direct substitution substitute everything in the formula you will get a final regular expression so this is what we found of r12 of um, 1 contains 0 star 1 star 0 and 2 2 of 1 is epsilon plus 0 plus 1 when you apply that in formula this is r 1 2 of 1 that is 1 star 0 plus ok it is r 1 uh, 1 2 of 1 again 1 star 0 and here it is r 2 2 of 1 to the power whole star ok so it will be epsilon plus 0 plus 1 the whole star and again r 2 2 of 1 that is epsilon plus 0 plus 1 condition okay so this one uh, star zero will come as it is now here when you check for the reduction you have this possibility 
okay so this is same as 1 plus epsilon the whole star okay whenever it is whole star this actually includes this epsilon transition so we can write this as 0 plus 1 the whole star the reason why we write over here is whenever it is to the power star it is a clean closure condition and clean closure includes this epsilon transition no need to write it again so we can as a whole write it as 0 plus 1 the whole star and this is concatenated with 0 plus 1 again okay the reduction for this can be uh, represented as the same structure okay when it is uh, 0 plus 1 the whole star concatenated with either epsilon or 0 or 1 so everything is included in this place it might be either 0 or 1 or epsilon epsilon is included in this star transition so instead of concatenating things like this we can write this as a whole like 0 plus 1 the whole star and finally this two are parallel edges one contains one star 0 and another contains one star 0 followed by a closure thing whenever it is a closure to the power of star it is a closure clean closure condition and this includes epsilon when this become epsilon okay when this input 0 plus 1 become epsilon the transition will be just 1 star 0 alone so as a whole we can write this as 1 star 0 into 0 plus 1 the whole star since this is included in this place itself okay so final regular expression for the given dfa will be 1 star 0 0 plus 1 the whole star so this is using a formula method but when you directly look into this diagram uh, this uh, dfa diagram in the starting state we have a self loop condition to the input 1 so self loop actually represents 1 star self loop is 0 or more more transition so it is 1 star and exactly we need 1 0 to move from starting state to final state and the final state to the power like here again you have a self loop and the input for the self loop is 0 or 1 and whenever it is a self loop condition we have to write it with this whole star condition so the final regular expression will be 0 star oh sorry 1 star 0 into 0 plus 1 the whole star so this will be the final regular expression thank you